Well, he spent his whole career in post-secondary institutions and most recently here in Lloydminster at Lakeland College. Phil Allen announced his retirement and is packing up his office to leave before the next school year begins. Manica Notvait has more. But yeah, it's, uh, it's getting close. He's talking about his final day at the college after teaching for 12 years. Honestly, the uh, decision to not continue uh, came relatively uh, sudden for, for me. He says with the new president and new direction, it's a good time for him to go on to different things and leave room for a younger staff. What she needs is a couple of other people with new ideas and new concepts and not this is the way we used to do it. That kills, uh, post-secondary kills a business. And after his role in the athletics program and coaching basketball for five years, he'll be surely missed at the college. So that's, uh, that's, that goes back. Uh. As an assistant coach, he was phenomenal. He, he was joking around, pumping tires, like making sure everyone knew how valued they were. And it showed his diversity and how good he was at just teaching people and coaching people, not just a basketball team. Uh, he really found a way to connect with people. But Alan says even though he's moving away from Lloydminster, He's not ruled out working yet. I still have a couple more years of, of uh, uh, best before uh, uh, date is, is, uh, hits me. So uh, if the right offer comes around uh, along uh, for the right position, the right challenge, I think I'll get my uh, adrenaline uh, uh, flowing again. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, certainly we'll consider it. Anna cannot bait, New Cap News. Well, it's an annual trail ride like no other. The Wild Pink Yonder ride has been going on for five years and has raised more than $600,000 for breast cancer research. And for the first time ever, the 500-kilometer ride will begin in Lloydminster and go along the historic Iron Trail. I need a horse and a place to sleep and a toothbrush and a change of underwear. That's about it. Jane Hurl says you can join the 23-day ride for the whole way or just a few days. It's up to you. As a breast cancer survivor, she says it's encouraging to see other survivors come out. We also get women who want to help in the cause because they have young children and they don't want their daughters to ever have to face this. They will visit 24 small towns along the way and hold a unique contest every year called the Pinkest Town in the West. If they raise more money than the other towns we visit on a per capita basis and turn their town pinker, literally pinker, um, then they win and they have the honor of being the pinkest little town in the West 2014. Each rider raises $100 a day. The ride will start on August 8th. If you'd like more information, you can visit wildpinkyonder.com. All right, well, a dog and two rabbits are featured on this week's edition of Pet Project. Akila is a two-year-old female massive lap cross, and Thumper and Faline are brothers and sisters rabbits hoping to get adopted. This is Akila. Akila is a two-year-old female massive lab cross. She's spayed, current on vaccinations, and she's also microchipped. Akila is a wonderful dog with a lot of love to give. She does have a high abundance of energy, which is essential for her to burn. She likes to run and play, and she gets along with most dogs. Due to her high energy and size, we suggest that Akila would do best in a home that doesn't have young children. She doesn't have too much for training, but she's very treat motivated. If you're looking for a new jogging partner or a dog to give you unconditional love, come on down to the SPCA and meet Akila. This is Thumper and this is Faline, and they are six week old baby bunnies. These two were actually born at the SPCA and they just recently came up for adoption. Thumper is a boy and Faline is a girl. And they've gotten a lot of interaction with people um, with being here at the shelter, so they're very interactive and social. They enjoy being picked up and held and given fresh vegetables. Both are very excited to find their new forever home, so come on down to the SPCA to meet Thumper and Faline. 